So I noticed driving to Denver yesterday, I was getting a lot of squeaking coming from my front fenders and finally realized that the stock tab I made that connects to the stock tab mounting location right next to the door hinges, it had actually wiggled to the point where it broke one of the tack welds that holds the mounting tab to the body itself. So I am changing my shoes to go put some welds on that because welding ruins your shoes. All the sparks tend to fall down onto your top of your shoe and uh, your shoe strings and it will destroy your shoes. So always put on some, some shoes you don't care about before you do any welding. And then I also need to examine my exhaust because it's rattling against the rear cage support for the rear diff section and it's getting really annoying so I need to fix that. I also got a rear jack point bumper from a guy, I forgot his name already, I suck at names so if you're watching this comment below what your name was, sorry about that buddy but traded me for some Miata parts that he needed, but that'll give me a base to build my rear bumper diffuser off of. So that saves me a lot of time and energy bending that up so I can concentrate more on the front bumper. Also, if you've noticed when you're driving your Miata, if the windows are cracked or down at all, you get some exhaust smell in the car, but not when the windows are up. You may have noticed it as like a, a gas odor or maybe even you just get road rage whenever you drive with your windows down. That's the exhaust messing with your brain. So there's a rubber seal that goes around the shifter and I do not want to buy a new one. So what I think I'm going to do is make one out of silicone caulking. Silicone is like a thousand or something. You'll have to Google it. It's like a thousand degrees heat resistant. So it's not going to melt or break down as quick as the rubber that the new ones are made out of. So I'm probably just going to make like a surround over the original one out of either tape or uh, plastic or something just to hold the silicone while it cures and then I'm going to cover it in silicone and smooth it so that it's an actual sealed boot around the shifter below the actual shift boot and that'll keep the fumes out. Obviously I need to inspect my gaskets on the joints on my exhaust to make sure that they're not leaking because I didn't put any copper sealant or anything on them. I just popped it all together and have just been riding it and I think it's probably leaking around the gaskets because of that. So I'm gonna try and knock out as much of that as I can. I might not get to the exhaust part or the silicone boot, but I definitely need to put some tacks on the front fender tabs and I need to inspect why my exhaust is banging around in the back because I really don't want it to beat a hole into it. So we're gonna get to that right now. So here's the rear bumper stay, push bar, bash bar, jack point, whatever you want to call it. I'm probably going to paint it black, get it mounted up. I, I may need to readjust my exhaust because I'm not sure where it's going to come out. It may push out around the jack point. It may be right in the middle of that angled bar there. Not real sure. What's that pig? What are you doing? I need to investigate that, see if that's going to work for me. I'll paint it black, put it on, and then start building off of that to make my rear diffuser and kind of under spoiler. I'm also going to cut these like fake fender flaps that held the bumper on and I'm going to cut this off to match the other side that I've already done. I'll readjust that to go somewhere else. I'm going to get that taken care of probably in the next few days, maybe next week. Not real sure. It's been really cold this week, so I'm not really interested in doing much. This guy here, it's kind of hard to see, but this tab, I just extended this piece of metal and then put the original tab slot back on there. But that tab where it mounts to the unibody has a crack in it. So I need to put a couple of tack welds there just to hold it steady. The other side's starting to do it too. So I'm gonna knock that out. And then I may get to the part of the exhaust banging against that right there. It's getting really annoying. You can kind of see where it's touching. It's super annoying. It's supposed to be way over here like that. So I may just need to bend the hanger tabs over I don't know, just shouldn't be that close. So obviously I need to bend the rear hangers over more so it pulls the whole exhaust towards the passenger side a little more and gets it off of there because it's super annoying. But hopefully get that done. Also, there's a big controversy going on on YouTube right now about how they changed the way the subscribe button works. And some people have been unsubscribed from channels without them even knowing it. Sometimes the people you're subscribed to, you just don't see their videos in your recommended feed or in your subscriptions page or anything. Because if you've noticed noticed next to the subscribe button, once you hit subscribe, there's a little bell button that'll show up. I might put a picture here or there or somewhere. 
there's a little bell that'll show up and you have to click that bell and then check mark the box letting YouTube know that you actually want to be notified about your subscriptions. It's kind of like a double redundant system. I don't understand it either, but why would you subscribe if you didn't want to be notified? So that's the whole point of being subscribed is that it instantly notifies you the second that someone posts an, a video, but now you still have to click that little bell and click that you want to be notified. It's completely stupid. I hope they fired whoever came up with that idea. So be sure to click subscribe subscribe if you haven't already. Next to the subscribe button, once you click it, there'll be a little bell. Click that bell and then click the push notifications so that you'll be notified instantly as soon as a video is posted. That also means it'll show up in your recommended videos and it'll show up on your subscriptions page. You might get an email or something depending on what you have set up in your YouTube settings, which you can go to under your account settings. But be sure to do that for me, guys. I'd hate to know that you guys are unsubscribed without knowing it or that you're not receiving my videos because obviously the more video views we get, the better off we are. So make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want. But for now, I'm going to get to welding this and uh, hopefully I can get this thing to stop squeaking because it's friggin annoying. Goodness, that's so much better. Other side. Okay, that was easy enough. Now I need to adjust this hanger somehow. Hopefully, get this exhaust off of that frame because it is friggin annoying all right with that out of the way i think that looks pretty friggin awesome but now i can get to this hanger and bend it over that way more pulling the entire exhaust to the passenger side so that should help if you've ever had trouble getting these hangers off set of channel locks and then you'll notice like this end sticks out further than this end so put this end on the end of the thing. Sometimes I spray it with a little WD-40. It really helps it slide through the rubber. And then put this end on the back of the rubber to the side of the tip. And then you just pull it around, pull the rubber around the point as you pry it off. You'll feel it once you know you're doing it right. Kind of like dating. See how it popped off the nub there? It's easier once it's lubed up. Kind of like dating as well. But you can try it right off of that. And then it's out of the way. And now, I want to grab a hold of this. Make it a little tighter. Should pull it over further. A little lube. Yes, that was spit. But it works. It's giving it a little more tension, maybe. Not much. So looks like I need to bend the other one as well. Got a couple of hammers. Let's see what we can do. So that is definitely off by a lot. Um, so that's a lot better. All right, so I think I got it pretty well centered. It takes a lot to get it to contact. Still will hit, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the other fender flap here so it matches the other side and it should be done so now i want to see 
see how well this jack point mounts with my exhaust the way it is. Hopefully it'll fit. If not, then of course I'll just have to reposition my exhaust another way. Friggin' kind of awesome. Damn it, it's right in front of the exhaust. So the tips need to go lower, it looks like. But I think that looks pretty cool. It's not a major deal, but since I'm obviously gonna have to do something to the exhaust in the near future anyway, that's not a big deal having to move that. I'll just rotate it down a little further and weld it back on. I'll paint this black and then get it installed and then start building off of it for my rear diffuser, which is a great base to start from because everything's already straight and bent up and these massive mounting plates are already done so I don't have to cut this thick of metal and I don't have a plasma cutter so it would probably take about 10 cutting wheels to cut these plates out of some steel this thick. So luckily that's already done. That will be another video for another time. That was just a few of the things I needed to accomplish today. Keeping that exhaust from rattling, driving me crazy. Also, the fenders squeaking, rattling were just, it was getting out of control. So don't forget, guys, like I said before, click that subscribe button and then click the bell next to it and check the box to be notified instantly so it'll also show up in your recommendations and you'll see videos as soon as I post them. Click the like button if you like the video. Don't forget, I'm still giving away the Harley. Click the store link in the video description below. It'll take you directly to my blog, right to the store page. Click the buy now button and it's $20 per ticket. It's a one in 1,000 chance to win. I will be announcing a winner if all 1,000 tickets are sold by January 1st. I will ship the bike to anywhere in the lower 48 United States free of charge. It'll come out of the money I made off the tickets. You'll also get a sticker in the mail if it says you win on the back, then you won. It's just that simple. So please share the video with your friends. Make sure to let them know about the motorcycle giveaway for my 1,000 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe and like, obviously. And if you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, post them in the comment section below. I thank you guys all for watching and being subscribed to my channel. Share on social media if you can. I really appreciate that. It helps the channel out a lot. Order stickers from my shop. I have t-shirts. I will have those cup holders for the Miatas coming soon in brushed aluminum. So if you feel like pre-ordering, just to make sure you're one of the first people to receive one when they do print out, Go ahead and click the pre-order button on my store page as well. But like if you liked, subscribe if you want, and as always guys, keep on modding.